you get good at a, a shooter game? Years of practice, dedication, wrong stupid. You can use <laughs> neuroscience to get better fast. Yeah. So Yay, sorry this is to have come called in very you handy. that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there's a Aim Lab, which is a new piece of training software from a company called State Space. It's currently in closed beta, um, so you can't access it. I know there are Aim training games on Steam currently, but mm -hmm. this one wants to use the power of uh, learning from your own brain to mm -hmm. be able to teach teach you through immediate feedback of what you're overcompensating on perhaps or what your eyes are focused on at different times. It's an interesting use of neuroscience. So the, the two creators, um, Wayne and Fuller, met at NYU during a neuroscience uh, PhD program. Mm -hmm. And uh, what they wanna do really is just use data to revolutionize the way we train mm -hmm. um, in this and the way it did with traditional sports. Mm -hmm. So they wanna use that and apply it to the video games. And um, so one of the really interesting things to me was how immediate the feedback is and how you can statistically learn what you're good at and what you're not. So is it easier for me to shoot targets when they're on the left-hand side of the screen versus the right-hand side of the screen? Um, am I faster at things? There's these really interesting mechanisms that they do with uh, motor control and visualization, and that's where their background comes in. Uh -huh. And uh, they kind of, you know, train you to improve your target practice. Mm -hmm. I think we have a video to show exactly how it looks. All right, so that is one of the setups they have to look like PUBG. They also have one that looks generically like Overwatch. Uh, so with this, it looks pretty simple, which is this orb is moving around different parts of the screen. Uh, but they were able to gather data, which is where it sets it apart from different aim training based games. According to Wayne Mackey, most of my work used eye movements as a measurement to give insight, so some visual cognitive process. When you move your eyes, the image of the retina changes and a sort of remapping process takes place in your brain to keep the world stable as you see it. Are you more or less accurate when targets are on the left versus right side of the screen, upper right corner, just off center to the left, to figure that spatial transformation so that the next target is always relative to stable position allowing us to get that critical spatial performance information. So it looks the same, but it is gathering more important information that you might not be sure you're giving off. It's almost like a weird palette cleanse. So what it's doing by returning the target to the center of the screen is avoiding that kind of remapping that your brain does if it's looking to the right and then you have to turn it to the left. It's it's removing those variables from the equation so that they can collect that data more accurately. But it becomes one of those things where uh, basketball benefited from this. You know, they discovered that I think three point shots. Uh, I didn't shots, know that. Yeah, are are more accurate if the angle is closest to I think it was forty two point five degrees. So if you shoot with that angle, you're more likely to read. So there's like all these. It's like a drill. And one of his quotes mentioned NFL players and how they don't just play football all day long. They do drills. They lift. They train. They run. They do all these other things that kind of. Um, help their skills mm -hmm. and uh, it's like cross training uh, kind of <laughs> I, 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 all I know is in my maybe. head I was like no I don't want to yeah. uh, because I don't I'm not an athlete uh, so it, that that is interesting I didn't know about that level of research going into sports and uh, being able to work down you know specific degrees uh, or thrust or what needs to happen in order to get the ball to the goal, which is the <laughs> game, aim of most sports. Um, yeah, it, it, it was really interesting to see that level in there. And I do like to see that eSports, you know, it is basically following a similar trajectory as professional sports, what with leagues and fans and professional tournaments happening, also going the same way, but in a way that's very immediately quantifiable and that you can, um, just transfer those skills over mm -hmm. instead of, you know, well, 
you know, may, I'll think of this as that. No, it's it's pretty direct. Yeah, at this point, it's numbers are anecdotal because it's in beta testing. But one of the people that used it was talking about how their uh, shooting went from a 20% accuracy to a 60% rifle accuracy within two hours. Oh, that's so good. I mean, I don't know how much of that is uh, a, a I could be, but No, I love it. I could finally be a good Widowmaker player in Overwatch, <laughs> which I am not currently. So this seems like a really interesting and simple way to apply neuroscience to improve your video game skills very quickly. Two hours to get 20% better at accuracy, that's great. So it's in closed beta right now, we can't use it, but uh, maybe in the future we can. Keep following that space for more details and let us know, would you use this to improve your game or are you better off with just more practice? Please let us know on Twitter and Facebook.